it's no use in looking back Good morning, we are off to Gardens by the Bay today. We've already been, as you may have seen, when it was May the 4th celebrations, but I wanted to go. We didn't really explore that much because it was the Star Wars stuff. We just sort of hung around the Star Wars stuff and the show in the evening was the special Star Wars version. So we're gonna go today, have more of a little explore. We might go into like the Flower Dome, I think it's called, and the Cloud, Cloud Gardens, I think they are. But first of all, we have like 45 minutes bus and train journeys. Ooh. Right. 6.54. We've arrived, we're at the Bayfront MRT and I think we're just walking into the Marina Bay Sands, you know, the big hotel with the infinity pool. I could be wrong. I think I could be wrong about this, but I think that this is like the um, bottom of it. Like there's a a mall in the lower area, so we can a little mooch around. Look at this. You can get a little boat ride through the middle of the mall. boat ride though because it's like hardly any distance just down the centre yeah it's rubbish I was a little bit wrong that shopping mall was like it's like just in front of the marina bay sands not inside it right off to gardens by the way so we're here now so last time we came we just went straight into like the middle where the light show is where the super tree grove is that what it's called yeah. super tree grove but this time like I said before we're going to go around the outside there's different gardens, there's like melee gardens, Chinese gardens, colonial gardens, I can't think of what else, but there's like different gardens. We're going to have a little explore around them and head over to the cloud forest. The first garden we've come to is the colonial garden, which is a reflection of ambition. Stephen is chilling out in the shade there, is it nice and cooler? Singapore's coffee plantations. Chocolate in Asia, the cocoa tree was used in Asia as a substitute for coffee after the outbreak of coffee disease in 1890. Oh look, Raffles had some cocoa trees planted in Singapore, but it just didn't work. It wouldn't grow here. I thought that there was the actual Rubber. plants here, the actual trees here, but rubber. I don't think there is. Rubber. The rubber industry took off in Singapore in the early 1900s. Ah, By 1920, Southeast Asia was growing over 50% of the world's rubber and Singapore became the rubber capital of the world. That's not what rubber looks like. That's what rubber looks like. Whoa, rubber plants. That's rubber tapping. That's what rubber. They're like the seeds. Pineapple. Oh listen, that's interesting. Rubber and pineapple. The problem with starting a rubber estate is that it takes seven years for the trees to reach maturity. That's a long time to wait before you can recoup your investment. Me and Stephen are not very impressed with this colonial garden. We're going to move on to the melee garden, I think. Here we are entering the melee garden, which is representative of a reflection of community. Are they bananas? Yeah. Look at those teeny no little... Idea. Yeah. They bend upwards. We're not really impressed with the melee gardens either. <laughs> We're a bit disappointed with these gardens. Chinese gardens. Well, oh, Chinese gardens, yeah. Maybe the Chinese gardens will be there. Chinese garden, a reflection of literature. In the Western world, gardens are planted, but in China, a garden is built to imitate natural landscapes. I'm optimistic about the Chinese gardens. Stone structures. Stone structures. <laughs> Yeah. The last garden is the Indian garden, which is a reflection of devotion. Oh, look at this floral clock. That's nice. Oh, is that the actual Actually, word? Yeah. It's a clock. Okay, here we have two options: is the flower dome and the cloud forest. I think you pay for both of them. 
I'm not sure. I'm gonna go and find out. We've got our tickets. We're gonna go in the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest. I can't see them getting annoyed because we keep forgetting. It was, it cost how much? It was $28 for me and 13 Oh yeah, and thir that's fun. And $13. Was it $13? And $13 for a three to twelve year old. I think we're gonna do the um cloud forest yep. first, but I don't know where the entrance is. Is it down here? Can we go down? No. This is the entrance down to the cloud forest. Cool sculptures. Hey. Thank you. Welcome to the cool, mysterious cloud forest. Whoa. Oh, really? No, it's not warm. Way, Stephen. I'm gonna be scared of that. Look up. How cool is that? That's so amazing. Oh, look at the spider. Dangling. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, is that like a Venus fly trap? This way to the lost world. Okay, we're going up in a lift. We're taking a lift, we're now up at the top. Hopefully this isn't scaring me. Start your climb for the lost world. Okay, we're going up. And what floor are we on? I'm confused. Oh God, I'm getting scared. Oh, yeah. Don't Stephen, honestly, oh crap. Oh, I mean, there's some pretty nice views out here. Oh crap, I'm right near the edge. See the Marina Bay Sands there? And you can see some of the... Uh... Oh god, I need to move, I can't cope. <laughs> oh, and here we are, right at the very top. Wow. Oh, look at this. How nice is that? Okay, we're going out onto the cloud wall. Oh, yeah, you cool. Right, here we go. Oh my god. This holy look. This is not. You have to walk on that side. Oh my. You're lucky I'm walking. Okay, I will, I will, I will. I will. <laughs> I'm walking on it. Oh god, are you joking? I think I'd die if I fell. Yeah. <laughs> it's high enough for me. I'm getting off now. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not as scary as black walk. No, it's not as scary as black walk. You can see the. Uh, the trees, yeah, much higher. In between that one and this one. That walkway down there is more my sort of level. Yeah. Definitely. The views out are really nice, but honestly I'm petrified. Oh look, there's the play area, Stephen. Like the fountain thing down there. Oh God. Okay, this 
a lot. This walk is longer than I thought it was. I'm coming to the end now. Oh my god, I was petrified. Down one more time. Oh god. Why did that make you scared? I don't know. I can just see the floor. I don't know. Nothing but I did down. it. I know it doesn't make me fall, it just freaks me out. Even through the camera, it's fine. Whoa. I feel safer here because I'm closer to the thing. Like when I was. I know it doesn't, but like when I was right out there, I know it doesn't make any difference. There's no logic, there's no logic to fear. Waterfall view, Crystal Mountain. Let's go. Oh, I feel like I've accomplished something today. See, whoa, even that freaks me out. Oh, look, waterfall view out here is just a little bit that sticks out. That, oh, that freaks me out. I can't go on that bit again. I have to go on there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, actually, oh, I'm not sure. Oh. Don't, don't, don't. This is definitely going to be more my scene. Treetop okay, walk. Like, walk uh, okay, hopefully. Let, yeah, yeah. This is my type of height. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not too scared about... There was a time where I'd have been scared of this and I wouldn't walk on this though, isn't there? I can do this. This isn't scare me. Look, that was the walk where I was just on. They were the bit like out there but they were further away from the thing that really freaks me out it's bloody high that look it feels it when you're up there Stephen is off he's had enough of this now he's gonna go and sit down by the escalator down again to earth check whoa this bit now that we're about to go into i'm assuming it's going to be about climate change look at that 1880 Average temperature was about minus two. Now it's, it's about six. over six degrees. So in like no, but that's in a yeah. hundred, hundred and thirty years. years. Hundred and twenty years. No. Oh yeah, because it goes past two thousand. Yeah. About hundred and thirty years, it's gone up eight degrees. That's a lot. Yeah. So now. Enter the heart of the mountain to check out the facts. Discover for yourself the rock hard data that allows scientists to measure our planet's pulse. All is not well. No, it's not. <laughs> I think there's a short film here that we can watch about climate change. I think it's how they work and everything, isn't it? Has to be reduced. To do this, a salt solution is used to reduce the moisture in the air as it enters. Okay, that is the cloud forest done. Now we're going to head over to the. Um, oh, look at that wall! Well, I'll have to show you that little wall in a second. I'm going to head over to the flower dome now. It's awesome. Right, let's go into the flower dome. Thank you. Smells like a greenhouse, it does. So this is what they have in the flower dome. Californian garden, olive grove, Mediterranean garden, South American garden, South African garden, Australian garden, succulent garden, the I don't know how you say that. And flower field. Oh, look at the horse up there. 
Oh yeah, like a little gingerbread house in the middle. No, Stephen doesn't think this one's going to be as good. I tend, I think I probably agree with him. But we'll have a little wander around anyway. I think this place really, if you've not got a massive interest in plants, it's not really for you, obviously. Like I said, it's it's quite nice, but it's it's not really our thing. But I'm glad we went to see it. Then we're gonna try and get something to eat because it is now. It's now half past four. We haven't really eaten today. We're not hungry. So the initial plan was possibly to head to like the kids like water fountains. Stephen doesn't want to do that. And then also I wanted to stay and watch the light show. Stephen doesn't want to do that either. He's miserable, sad, isn't he? Miserable. Mm -hmm. Miserable, so I know we decided we're gonna go head back and get something to eat on the way. The plan is that we're gonna come down one day during the week to watch the light show after sort of school and everything. We can't decide either whether to go up to the top of Marina Bay Sands because the infinity pool up there you can only use if you're a hotel guest and it's about £200 a night or something ridiculous. So we won't be staying there, but it is an observatory deck. In fact, you might be able to see people. No, you can't, I don't think. Right at the very end there. I can see people. Yeah, I can see people, but I don't know whether the camera will see that. We'll see it. Um, yeah, but I don't know whether it's worth going up or not. What so do you what, think? Me Let me know what you reckon, whether we should go up or not, because I can't decide. 